It's no secret Hollywood favors people they consider to be young and attractive. Many actors are pressured into beginning their careers at a young age for fear of becoming too old and washed out to be considered desirable. Elderly actors, however, offer a wisdom, authenticity, and skill that young actors simply don't have. While many young actors find themselves tossed to the curb after they start developing wrinkles, there will always be a necessity for older actors. Thankfully, it seems Hollywood is finally starting to appreciate its older actors, especially those who began their careers young and continue to flourish even in later years. Just because elderly actors are not perceived to be as attractive as younger actors, film and TV shouldn't be all about who looks the prettiest. After all, acting should primarily be about skill and your ability to convince the audience you're someone else entirely. The film and TV industries are often exhausting, especially for actors who have to spend their time shooting and reshooting scenes under hot lights while wearing lots of thick makeup. It makes sense that acting is primarily dominated by younger actors, who have the energy to deal with such grueling work. Still, there are countless older actors who couldn't dream of having any other career, and continue to work no matter how old they are. In today's video, we'll pay homage to the actors who didn't give up on their careers, even very late in their lives. We're going to take a look at the 10 oldest actors who are still alive today. Some of them retired from their work long ago, but others are still working on their passion, even when they're over 100 years old. Stick around because we're also going to take a look at the lasting influence of Betty White, one of the greatest comedic treasures in American history. Earl Cameron Earl Cameron made history for becoming the first black man to become a movie star in Britain. He paved the way for other black actors to find fame in a time when discrimination and racism was far more prevalent. He was able to overcome some of the barriers he faced after landing a role in the 1951 film Pool of London. This film also made history because it became the first British film to depict an interracial relationship. However, Earl Cameron's race meant there were still fewer opportunities available to him. He persevered, however, and soon landed a role in the 1965 James Bond film Thunderball. Today, Earl Cameron is 102 years old and remains an inspiration for actors all over Britain. Betty White Betty White is one of the oldest living actresses today, and she holds the record for longest career in TV out of anyone in history. She began her career in the late 30s, where she would accept any available role. It took some time for the world to recognize her talent, and it wasn't until 1953 that she finally got her big break, after landing the starring role in her own TV series, Life with Elizabeth. She also produced the show, making her among the first female producers working in Hollywood. While Life with Elizabeth certainly helped White get her name out there, it wasn't until she landed a role on the Mary Tyler Moore show that she truly became famous. She won two Emmys for that show and had even bigger successes coming her way. In the 80s, she starred as Rose Nyland on the legendary sitcom The Golden Girls. Eva Marie Saint Eva Marie Saint is best known for her starring role in the 1954 film On the Waterfront, co-starring alongside Marlon Brando. She earned an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in the film and became even more famous after Alfred Hitchcock chose her to play a role in his film North by Northwest. Afterwards, she began work in television after appearing on the show Campus Hoopla. She continues to work today, appearing in the film Winter's Tale and voice acting for the popular series The Legend of Korra. Norman Lloyd Norman Lloyd is the oldest living actor in the world who still continues to work today. He's 105 years old and began his acting career in the 30s, where he worked on stage at Ava La Gallienne's Civic Repertory in New York. While he got his start in theater, he eventually developed a close bond with legendary director Alfred Hitchcock after starring in one of his films, Saboteur. In the 1940s and 50s, he was blacklisted from acting, as he was thought to have ties to the Communist Party. As fear of communism finally calmed down a bit, Lloyd was able to revitalize his career. Norman Lloyd's passion for acting has not dwindled in the slightest, and he's even dabbled in work as both a director and producer. Today, he's best known for his role as Dr. Daniel Auslander on the show St. Elsewhere. Carol Cook Carol Cook began her acting career in 1956, when she appeared in musical theater, TV, and even film. 
She's well known for her roles in films like Home on the Range, Sixteen Candles, and The Incredible Mr. Limpet. She was the protege of legendary comedic actress Lucille Ball and was on many of Ball's shows. While Carol Cook was born with the name Mildred, Ball began calling her Carol in homage to Ball's late friend, Carol Lombard. Carol Cook hasn't just spent her long career working as an actress. She's also worked as an activist for issues of LGBTQ rights as well as an advocate for people with AIDS. Carol will go down in history for her fantastic acting abilities. Make sure you stick around until the end, though, because we're going to reveal which legendary comedian is still alive today. And if you're enjoying this video so far, take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel. Gloria has kept her story Gloria Henry. Gloria Henry, born Gloria Eileen McKerney, is probably most famous for her role as Alice Mitchell in the popular TV series Dennis the Menace. After her big break on the show, she all but disappeared from the film industry for decades. It wasn't until 2005 that she made an appearance in the film Her Minor Thing. After that, she played a minor role in the sitcom Parks and Recreation. After that, she decided to retire from acting for good. Today, she's 97 years old, and people will always remember her for her iconic role as Alice Mitchell. Joan Copeland Joan Copeland began her career in theater, but after she was met with great success, she made a transition to film and television. After playing Juliet in the 1945 play Romeo and Juliet, she starred in many Broadway plays. In the early 50s, she began making minor appearances on different TV shows. Surprisingly, she's also the younger sister of Arthur Miller, a famous playwright known for writing plays such as All My Sons and Death of a Salesman. Joan Copeland starred in a few different soap operas, and while she never landed any major film roles, she is still revealed for her impressive acting abilities. Mike Nussbaum Mike Nussbaum is far from the most famous actor on this list, but he's probably one of the most active actors on the list today, in spite of his age. He is set to appear in the 2020 film Tom of Your Life, which has yet to be released. He's had a prolific career in both film and television, but he's even more successful in theater. In 2019, he even starred in a production of Hamlet at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Even though Mike Nussbaum is 97 years old today, his passion for acting is so great he hasn't even thought about slowing down. Larry Storch Larry Storch is well known for his work on Broadway, as well as in television and voice acting. He actually began his career as a stand-up comedian, but after appearing on The Ed Sullivan Show in the 40s, he found he had a knack for television. After that, he began his own television variety show, and while it only lasted one summer, it was a big success. He found even more success as a voice actor for animated shows such as The Pink Panther, The Adventures of Batman, and Scooby-Doo. Carl Reiner Carl Reiner is widely considered one of the best comedic actors of all time, and had great success as both a writer and director. He began his acting career when he was only 17 years old, working at several different theater companies. In 1949, he appeared for the first time on TV, which sparked a long and prolific TV career. After appearing in Your Show of Shows, he starred in and wrote for various television programs, most notably The Dick Van Dyke Show. Throughout his career, he won a total of nine Emmy Awards and one Grammy. In 2018, he also became the oldest person to ever be nominated for an Emmy. Tragically, however, he died just a few months ago on June 29th. While Hollywood often favors younger actors because they're deemed more attractive, there's so much skill that older actors can offer the world. Were you more surprised to learn about the actors who have since retired from their work or about the ones who continue to work despite their age? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Facts First for more.